Hello everyone, my name is Mzeda Rotondwa and I'm back again with another tutorial whereby I will be showing you how to teach mathematics to your junior level students, grade 4 and 5. Somebody suggested on our Facebook group that we should teach how to teach maths. And remember, the aim of our YouTube channel is to teach you how to do things for yourself that people normally pay for unnecessarily and now you can learn from this video and you don't pay anyone you just teach your students and your children at home this video is meant for teachers and also parents at home and if you are new to our youtube channel make sure that you subscribe and also follow us in all the social media platform this is where we are found are you ready are you ready make sure that you have got your pen and pencil or a marking pen or a book where you can write on and no need for calculator remember this is junior level mathematics you don't need a calculator are you ready are you ready let's find now let's go for division let's say you are given 46 divide by 2 how do you do it you divide each number by the one given you say 4 divide by 2 equals to 2 and you come you say 6 divide by 2 equals to 3 that means the answer is 23 now let's take it further as we go higher with the grade let's say you are given 369 divide by 3 what do you do you do the same you do the same you said three divide by three one come to the second one six divide by three you get two come to the last nine divide by three you get three now the answer is 123 simple as that now one last let's say you are given two thousand eight hundred and forty two divide by you do the same don't fear how big the number is you say 2 divide by 2 1 8 divide by 2 4 4 divide by 2 2 you say 2 divide by 2 1 so we have got 1 4 2 one so 2842 divided by 2 gives us 1421 simple as that now let's go to grade 4 and 5 let's say you are given 12 multiply by 4 what do you do firstly you ask yourself to get 12 what do i add that has got a zero at the end let's say if you add 10 plus 2 can you get 12 yes 
therefore multiply by 4. Now, you said 10 multiply by 4. Let's do it by writing 10 multiply by 4. You close, you open again. You say 2 multiply by 4. In other words, this one multiply this one, then this one multiply by this one. Now, 10 times 4. You have 40. In between here, sorry, we have got positive sign. And now, 2 times 4, we have got 8. Now, 48. 12 multiplied by 4 equals to 48. Let's do another example. Let's say 3 multiplied by 18. What do we do? We say 3 plus open brackets. To get 18, we add 10 plus 8. Therefore, we do the same. It multiplied the first term, the first number, and it multiplied the second one. Now we say 3 multiplied by 10. We close. And then 3 multiplied by 8. And then we close. Now 3 multiplied by 10. What do we get? It's 30. Now plus 3 multiplied by 8. What do we get? 8, 16, and then 24. Now, 80 multiplied by 20, it's 50. 4 multiplied by 30, 20, 30 plus 20, it's 50. 0 plus 4. It's 4. So it's 54. Simple as this. Now let's do the last one. Let's say you are given 12 multiply by 23. Wow. Okay. Now, you say, to get 12, we add 10 plus 2. And to get 23, we add 20 plus 3. Okay? What do we do? We do the same. It multiply the first one. It goes to the second one. It multiply the first one. It goes to the second one. We open. 10 multiplied by 20. 10 multiplied by 3. We add. We add. Sorry. 2 multiplied by 20. 2 multiply by 3 <clears throat> 1 times 2 it's 2 and therefore 0 0 10 times 3 1 times 3 is 3 and 0 80 2 times it's 4, 40. And the lastly, 2 times 3, it's 6. Now you add 200 plus 30 plus 40, 
3 plus 4 is 7 0 plus 6 <clears throat> you have got hundreds you've got tens and you've got units now 2 7 6 this is hundreds this is tens and this is units 12 multiplied by 23 equals to 276 simple as this